Today I'm going to show you how to create this patchwork heart using the built-in library shapes. I'm using level one. I have opened up my library shape from here and I'm now going to break it into other sections. In level one, I need to first add two breaking points, one on each side of the outline. So I double click on my line, which is my object shape, to create two points, which I now am going to select, right click, and choose break across. One thing that you need to make sure of, because now that you have created two objects that can have each different assi fills assigned to them, it may reshape one of the objects, and that's just because you're adding different points and changing the angles that were relative to the other point. So you want to make sure that you readjust your shape so that it looks like you wanted it to begin with. So the tr trick again with level one is to select the object that you want to add your break across points to, double click on the object to add your segment points, right, Two click and choose break across. Okay, so that's how you do it in level one. Now in level two, uh, three, you have different operators and these are the um, here on the right side and these are graphical operators. They work similarly except that um, you don't have to have only two points to break across. You can actually use more than two. So when you have your object selected, we're going to choose to add our break line to our closed shape. So I select this option and this opens up my, um, this creates the ability to draw my line. And I, this is how I want this one to be segmented. So I right click to end, choose to apply my break line to this object and it has segmented this one object into the two. So for, again, for this one, if I wanted to add my break line, I am not limited to doing a straight line. I can do a curve. I can adjust that curve any way I want to. I can do puzzle pieces. Um, anything you want, this is the line that's going to be, that break apart this one object. Once you have your line drawn, right click to end drawing the line choose to cut the object, the break line, and both of these objects are now created exactly as they were drawn. So let me just undo to get that back together. Now once you have all of your objects, you can go in and assign your fills or motifs or whatever it is that you want to place in each of these. Change your colors and create your fun design.